Behold, mortals, Antamon. This is amazing. I need this car in my life. We're in Abu Dhabi, realm of Antamon, to ask one of its creators, Turgut Alpagat, what prompted him to build a real-life transformer. Biz bunu gerçeğe dönüştürmek amacıyla bir şeyler planladık ve bu planladığımız şeyde de amacımız yine tekrar söylüyorum esas amacımız ticari anlamda da bir ses getirebilmekti ve bütün dünyayı şoka uğratmaktı. Aynı zamanda da arge gücümüzü tüm dünyaya göstermek amacıyla bunu yaptık. Consider it shock, Turgut. But how in the name of Optimus Prime have they turned an everyday car into an awesome bot? What's truly amazing is that they've created this out of an ordinary car. These guys have replaced most of the mechanical parts with a complex hydraulic system. Hydraulics work by pumping a hydraulic fluid into a cylinder, which pushes on a piston and amplifies the force. A hydraulic system is comprised of three parts. A hydraulic pump that pumps this hydraulic fluid around the system, lines that move the incompressible hydraulic fluids to the endpoints, and individual pistons that can move in and out with a great deal of force. The hydraulic system that Antimon uses is huge, and the power generated by hydraulics is related to the size of the piston. With a larger diameter piston, the system produces more force. The hydraulic system to lift the car up is incredibly powerful. It can produce a force of 35,000 newtons. That's enough to lift over three and a half tons. Dönüşümü gerçekleştirmek için araç formundan robot formuna geçerken ilk aşamada bir ağırlık biniyor ve bu ağırlık merkezinin hesaplanması ve bunun ayakta durabilmesi için hatta ilk kalkış hareketini yapabilmek için. So hydraulics help to transform and stay stable. But how is Antimon so animated? Antimon's fingers, wrists and arms are remote controlled and they can all be moved separately, which means he can wave at people and give a thumbs up. The head rotates back and forth. The operator can talk through the robot's mouth. The eyes can change to different colors to indicate different emotions. And to top things off, he's got a fog machine, which for some reason shoots out between his legs. But don't fear, Antimon is not taking over your city just yet. It can't walk. If it needs to move from place to place, it has to transform back into a car and drive to its destination.